Nifty Gateway Tutorial for Beginners NFT Platform Cool Guide Hi there you guys, welcome to another video and in this video I'll be talking about NFT and some of the things that you can do with it actually. This is totally different from a lot of uh, um, platforms out there like OpenSea and Rarible. It's totally different, it's hard to make your way to be a seller and stuff like that or to sell art because you know Nifty Gateway is really um, particular when it comes to the art that they release. So a short description about Nifty Gateway, it's a blockchain based online marketplace that allows its users to buy or sell NFTs. Now, you, I, I, I know you already know what NFTs are, that's, what, that's why you're here. And it's USP is exclusivity as opposed to the free for all on some platforms. Nifty Gateway's team carefully creates the content they allow to be placed for sale via their service. So what makes it different from all the other platforms is that they curate the stuff that are actually here. That's why you can see two tabs here, which are curated drops and verified drops. Um, this works by, you know, them trying to figure out which NFT is actually um, the best to show up here on the homepage. Now, what are the difference between a curated drop and a verified drop? A verified drop basically means that it's not curated by Nifty. Um, they didn't choose this particular collection or NFT or creator. Um, what it means is that it's just verified. Well, it means that the person who claims to be creating the NFTs is are the are the exact person who actually made them. Um, some people will actually um, buy and sell NFTs, and that's a different story when it comes to creating and buying and selling two different stories that you need to separate you guys now um first things first of course for you to buy nfts here on nifty is that you start making your account so when you're new here you'll immediately see a login and sign up button right over here and what you want to do is sign up right so you can sign up by inputting your email address your first name your last name your password and of course cl uh, click this verification um, captcha right here and then click on sign up and then it'll ask you a couple of questions like what type of nfts you're interested in and what's your budget i put in 500 dollars, and of course it'll ask you to connect to your wallet this is the most important part because for you to buy and sell your nfts here in nifty you'll have to connect your wallet and what type of wallets are you supposed to um link in um you'll need to, you'll need a wallet that's compatible with erc-721 ethereum tokens there are many on the market including lumi wallet trust wallet and i'm token and of course metamask for this tutorial i used metamask you guys so if you if you want to get metamask just go to chrome's web store and then just download the extension metamask or you can go to their web page right away and then click on a download extension from their web page so now as you can see i've already linked up my wallet and it looks like this all right so um aside from linking up you'll you'll even have to like sign and verify the wallet so it works perfectly fine now once you're done setting up your account there are a couple of ways you can actually buy nft it can be via online silent auctions which means you can uh, make a blind bid based on what you think the NFT in question is worth. What else? You can also do global offers where you make an offer for a specific NFT that's on the network and all owners of the asset you're looking for receive a notification. If one of them accepts, um, the NFT is yours. Like for example, let me choose an NFT here, this one. Okay. So for you to make a global offer, just click this button right over here. Let's click that and once you click it, enter the offer amount that you're willing to pay for this. And select payment options can either be account balance, prepaid Ethereum or Gemini balance. And then you can confirm the CVC right here. And of course the confirm order and you'll have to tick this on if you want to move on buying that certain NFT. Okay, so what else you can also do? Yeah, the online silent auctions. This is an, this is an example of an NFT that is sold via um, silent auction, the kit. So the silent auction NFT unlocks a rare mess suit, Ozil next chapter kit bodysuit. As a, what's this? As a genus wearable that can be used for your own genie. Okay, so this is something to do with um, 
a, a platform, a site, genies.com. And yeah, it looks like this. I, I'm guessing this is for an avatar or something like that. Okay, so some people are confused as well when it comes to um, Nifty because, yeah, um, it's uh, there are multiple copies sometimes of NFTs on Nifties, but uh, digitally they are they they can be considered as copies, but when it comes to the uh, NFT side of it, it, it's not actually identical because they are listed as different yeah fungible tokens they're not identical because they have different codings and stuff like that all right so what else um you can actually sell your nfts on nifty but that is really tricky you guys that's the trickiest part of uh, selling nfts still so now oh yeah sorry oh yeah selling and creating i'm sorry selling and creating nfts are total are two different things when it comes to nifty gateway right here so when you want to sell your nfts you can just do it when you've already like you're, when you're successful for example you're successful buying this particular nft right so what you want to do next is now you can resell it for a higher price or you can sell it for yeah the, just just any amount that you want to okay so if you're already on an empty and want to sell it in nifty gateway platform you'll be glad to know them make easy for you well easy in that there is only one way you have to go to your metamask wallet right here via nifty gateway and select the nft you want to put on sale so just go to your wallet which stores which basically stores your nfts right here and then select the nft that you want to sell it's pretty different when it comes to other platforms because other platforms um you'll have to mint the nft yourself um yeah uh, of course minting it it also works really different when it comes to selling a nifty gateway made it really clear they they made like a clear separation between selling an nft and creating an nft so now um all right creating an nft with nifty gateway is this slight uh is slightly tricky theoretically anybody can uh actually be and sell you know uh nft via nifty gateway however as you might imagine from the caliber of creators who they get to drop their work on the platform there are high bars of entry so this is really uh, tricky you guys will have to submit a lot of stuff being frank this is something only worth trying if you're very serious about creating digital art and are able to evidence some serious audience interest in your work so you know what if you start doing it just click this and click on account settings right here and then once you do that click on um, seller settings and you can authorize your seller account by doing this one and for you to apply as a creator you'll have to um, do a separate yeah it's a separate task you guys for you to do but basically if that's what you're looking for just selling uh, NFTs that you bought nifty gateway is worth a try especially that they have this curated and verified drops going on it means that um, they're serious about uh, the stuff that they do and the nfts that they post so yeah let me know what you think about nifty gateway down in the comments below and let me know if i missed anything out that's it for this video you guys see you again in the next video peace out